So what are the factors to consider after total thyroidectomy in deciding uh, on whether a patient should re receive radioactive iodine? Well, I always talk to the surgeon and find out what his surgical findings were. Was that a difficult operation? Was the tumour invading the adjacent muscles, um, the trachea, etc.? And then we closely assess the histological findings. And in general, um, these are the two main factors that we consider before, and including age as well, um, in determining whether they need radioactive iodine. Now, more recently, molecular marker status has become available and its role um, is really evolving. Some guidelines incorporate BRAF and TERT mutations into risk stratification of papillary thyroid cancer with the combination considered as indicators of high risk recurrence and appropriate for radioactive iodine therapy. However, this is not widely accepted due to insufficient evidence to support genotyping at the present time, but it may have a greater role in the future. So overall, uh, we have to undertake risk assessment of the disease. That is, is it low, intermediate or high using the American Thyroid Association criteria?